doing aficionados, Chris Passo coming back at you from www.thebackofworldcigars.com. I, uh, I guess. I thought it was just appropriate uh, for my cigar recommendation of the week to recommend the 601, which I'm sure you aficionados out there, if you review cigar aficionados, have been getting some great reviews. But I wanted to throw in something that takes us back to last year. Remember when I had Dean Garcia and Eric Espinosa, the owner of 601, here in the store for an interview? I recommended to you the uh, 601 Habano Robusto wrapper. And throughout that interview, I told you guys that my favorite cigar to recommend out of the 601 line, and the one that I prefer, was believe it or not, the 601 Connecticut Robusto. I just I love the Connecticut cigar. Um, you know, we were just talking about it prior to this video taking place, that most Connecticut cigars aren't really looked at. I can I go again. No, I got it again. Most cigars aren't really looked at from a, 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 a tasting tank standpoint on a Connecticut side because the Connecticut wrapper really doesn't have much flavor. And, if you read a lot on cigars, you'll find out there are some people that say Rapa has 80% of the flavor, 70% of the flavor. I tend to believe it has 50% of the flavor. And on the 601, it really coincides with what I believe because a Connecticut wrapper on this kind of cigar, you'll find that the cigar still has a lot of punch to it, which really comes out of the, the binder and the filler blend. Um, and I mean, it's just an unbelievable cigar. As a matter of fact, this cigar, probably over the past few months, has been the number one selling cigar in my store. Um, if we had a chance to walk outside and took a look at my 601 inventory, I'm not very low because these guys are having a lot of problems producing them as quick as the demand is. I think in correlation with them being making a cigar, how great the cigar is, and the fact that we've got companies right here like Aficionado out there giving them uh, great recommendations. I think you've got an 88. got an 88 recommendation on this cigar. And it was voted the best not, that month, that edition, the best non-Cuban cigar Churchill. A lot of people have been ordering these cigars to their, uh, their local tobacco shops. It just goes a lot to say with the way I feel about cigars, the census kind of feels the same way about them, and I really commend these guys for the great job they're doing. I'm wearing a 601 t-shirt that was given to me. I just felt it was appropriate. Right now we're playing um, dominoes, which is something we do here a lot in the store. We play poker, we play dominoes, we play whatever kind of a game is out there uh, for competitive purposes. We do not gamble. None of this stuff is for money. It's just for bragging rights. And we're playing double six, which really is a Cuban domino. This is what you really call Puerto Rican or Dominican domino. All Bahamians. Um, Cuban dominoes played with double nine. Dominican, Bahamian, uh, uh, Puerto Rican dominoes played double six, and I got a pass already. Um, and I don't want to get into explaining the game to you guys. You should just know that Cuban domino is much harder. It's uh, you play with, uh, with with much more pieces. It's 55 dominoes versus 28 in, in Cuban dominoes. So um, something we're doing here right now. But there's a lot that I want to talk to you about. We have. Um, this weekend, I, we have a great event coming up. Moret's going to offer the deals and specials that we're running for that event online. Um, we're going to be doing, Rocky Patel is going to be here in the store March 10th, between 2 and 6. Whatever deals and specials we're offering, I think it's buy three, get one free. Buy a box, you get eight free cigars um, and a torch lighter. Um, we only have what we have for here in the house. Once everything on the special is sold out, we cannot offer it anymore. So I, uh, I, I tell you guys, be the first ones in line Saturday to take advantage of all the deals Rocky Patel is offering on all of the cigars. We'll have them all assembled here in the, sto in the store if you're a local resident and you get a chance to come down here, come on down and, 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 and pick up some of the cigars and take advantage. Rocky will be here signing autographs and the beauty to this is he's also bringing down um, Joe Gattisfoli who is Vito, Johnny K. Spadafori, who plays on the Sopranos. Vito Spadafori will be here signing autographs as well. We got a big weekend in store, and just some, some of the things that we might be doing here in the back of the world and make you aware of them because they do exist. 
I want to also point out to you guys, uh, I do receive your emails, and the rep was kind enough to print them out for me, and there are a couple shout outs I want to make to guys that were thanking me for the reviews. I want to uh, give a shout out to uh, Rob in Los Angeles. He reviewed the Padilla in 1932, and he told me he was on the spot, and uh, we'll continue to support the website and buy cigars to us. Rob, that's the kind of attitude we're fucking looking for, man. We want you to thank us in ways of supporting us, and if not me, support your local tobacco store, support the entire industry, because, guys, they're making it tough for us to be in business over here. Okay, which brings me to another uh, email I got here from a guy who's talking to me about my opinion on opening a cigar store. <laughs> which, uh, which really touch, touches a soft subject with me. And I'm gonna find his, uh, his, his email because if you're a local resident to my store, you'll hear me bitch a lot. And I'll be the first one to say it. I'll tell it to the freaking cigar vendors to their face. The money isn't in the cigar store, guys. The money's in manufacturing the cigars. Now, in a place like guy like Eric, I can't even hop on him about it because he gets the cigars from Pepin Garcia. But you should know that the money isn't in the tobacco stores. The three most taboo industries in the world are alcohol, women, and tobacco. And out of the three, tobacco receives a blunt uh, 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 of the banshee. From, uh, from, from the government, from society, uh, from, from just about anybody out there who doesn't, who doesn't really have anything nice to say about anything else other than making money for themselves. They want to beat up on people and they beat up on the tobacco industry, which is fine. I mean, you got non-smokers out there. I don't hate you, man. I don't really care for you. But in any case, uh, you know, to open a tobacco store, it's not the same. You don't make the thousand percent profit margin you make in women. You don't make the thousand to five, seven hundred percent profit margin you make in alcohol. We work on the smallest margin, and unlike any other industry, manufacturers who wholesale, they're supposed to work on a thin margin. Well, in my business, the manufacturers make the big margins, and we make the small margin. So you're asking me, should I open a cigar store? And I'm just, I want to find a guy's name because it was a great email, and I want to address you personally on it. This is a guy's seven hundred fifty dollars cigar. Do I think it's worth smoking? Do I even need the answer? $750 for a fucking cigar? Come on. If it doesn't have Padron on the label, stay away from it. Uh, oh, excuse me. And 601 on the label, stay away from it. I have an opportunity. There we go. Oh, it's the guy with the media. I, have, I live in Los Angeles and have an opportunity to buy an existing store. What would you do? Well, number one, if it's just a cigar store, I run. If you're allowed to have a liquor license in it, I would definitely look into it. The thing that really bothers me is I know your taxes out there, I believe you, what are the California taxes? What's that 10% that they've, uh, now it's on each cigar, so. Really? You guys got 77% taxes out there. I mean, why would you want to get into a business where the margins aren't the same as they are with women and alcohol, and then pay 77% taxes on it? All right, so that's my feeling on it. I would really investigate. If you could sell liquor, man, hey, I mean, that's what you need. In order to have overhead and the kind of inventory I carry and to be able to pay for the, uh, the amount of employees I carry, you really need to have a massive operation earning better margins, okay? I'm not complaining. I think I'm the best store in town. I have the best selection, and that's why people come and shop here, and it helps me to do more volume. But if I didn't have the volume, man, I'd, I'd really be fucking up shit's creek without a, without a paddle. So if you're out there in Los Angeles and you're able to open up a liquor, a, a bar in with your cigar store, go ahead and do it. I think the industry needs it. And I really think you should hop on your local local uh, uh, congressman about support. I think you need to chase it all the way up the ladder to the state senators. You need some support out there. They need to reduce these taxes and they need to be able to help you to be able to sell cigars to environments that allow cigar smoking and all this petty shit that they're doing where they're not allowing you to sell cigars right now or uh, smoke cigars in public. Okay, uh, this is Chris Basso coming back at you from www.tobaccoworldscars.com. And once again, I just want to point out that I love cigars. If I can smoke in my sleep, I would. And if I die and they don't allow smoke in heaven, I want a first class ticket to hell. See you next week. Okay. I like. Hey, Rob, I, uh, I have a rep kick the camera back on because I, I, some, somebody just made me realize that.
Even your fucking governor smokes cigars out there in California. All right? You Californians out there, I don't know, you guys gotta get your act together. If I had a governor in this state that was freaking a cigar smoker, we'd never have to worry about cigar tax out here. And I, I just wanna point that out, Rob. It's a great business, you meet great people. If you can put a liquor license in your place and sell liquor along with selling cigars and be able to help reduce your cigar taxes out there, something I recommend doing. I just wanna say that. Goodbye. Thank you.